Good morning. Good morning. I know some of you have already said you've packed your Operation Christmas Shells shoe boxes, and some are probably still working on them. And I'm here to give you a little more information about the ministry and also maybe inspire you to pack one more. Do we have the, I can't see the slides. The so, logo. Okay, so yeah. the, the banner that you see right now um, is just sharing that Operation Christmas Child is an international outreach ministry of Samaritan's Purse. I know a lot of people here being in the home state of Samaritan's Purse is familiar with it. I'll just go over it in, in case some um, you're not familiar with it. It's an international Christian relief and evangelism organization headed by Franklin Graham, Billy Graham's eldest son. Samaritan's Purse works in more than 100 countries to provide spiritual and physical aid to victims of war, poverty, natural disaster, disease, and persecution. And they're right now in our home, um, in our, our neighbor state of South Carolina, helping people with the flood victims. Um, Operation Christmas Child does three things. We invite, collect, and distribute. Basically, when you think about it, we invite, collect, and distribute. So we invite people groups, churches, businesses, individuals, families to pack gift-filled shoe boxes. We collect them once a year in November. So I think the date for your church uh, is November 15th to have your boxes in. And we collect them uh, throughout the United States just for eight days, November 16th through the 23rd. And then we deliver them to needy children all over the world in over 100 countries every year. That is a huge undertaking, wouldn't you agree? 100 countries every single year. Today, in Operation Christmas Child started, so many people here in North Carolina say, oh, we've been doing that forever. Well, not really, because Operation Christmas Child started in 1993. So this is its 23rd year. Any guess how many shoeboxes have been collected and distributed in that 22 years history? Any guess? What was it? Oh, I wish. 124 million. That's huge. That's huge. In in a 22-year history, 124 million children have been touched by Operation Christmas Child. We get into that a little bit more. These children that are receiving the shoeboxes, they live in desperate situations. They suffer from extreme poverty, famine, disease, war, terrorism, persecution. Um, it, Operation Christmas Child is the largest children's evangelism project in the history of the world. And you have a chance to be able to be part of that. Pretty exciting, don't you think? I'm going to share Operation Christmas Child mission statement. A lot of people have never seen this, and I think it's very powerful to um, look at. And I'm going to invite a little audience participation here, and let's read it together, shall we? To demonstrate, demonstrate God's, God's love in a, in a tangible, tangible way, way to, to needy, needy children around, around the world, the world and, and together with the, with the local church worldwide to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Christ. Does that put a little spin and right aspect on why you're packing shoeboxes? Why children? Why are we targeting children? First, there's a very powerful statistic that one in three children that hear the gospel accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. One in three. Had anyone ever heard that stat before? Powerful. Children's ministry is very powerful. Second, children have a hard time keeping a secret. Agree? So if they've just heard about the good news and they go home, what are they going to do? They're going to share it. So there's a huge impact, ripple effect of your shoebox gift. Have you ever thought of that before? Why a gift? Well, who doesn't like getting a gift? Many of the children that receive an Operation Christmas Child shoebox have never received a gift ever in their life. If you've never received a gift before in your life, 
How are you going to accept the free gift of salvation? So we help them realize that they can get something for free. Make sense? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also, there's the unlimited potential of the ripple effect that one shoebox can make in their families when they go home and share this news and the gift in their um, neighbors and their friends. So I'm going to ask you one question. What is this? It's a shoebox. What really is it? I'm going to share a little Operation Christmas Child lingo with you, okay? We call it a go box. What do you think go, G-O, stands for? What? Eh, time's up. What? Up? Uh, no, no, but I like that. I like that effort. It's a gospel opportunity. Have you ever thought of your shoebox gifts as a gospel opportunity? Because it, each and every single one is a key for opening the gospel to that child and that family. Anyone that packs the Operation Christmas Child shoebox is an international missionary. Ever think of that? Here is the list of the 17 countries where the Wilmington area shoeboxes went to last year. In other words, if you packed an Operation Christmas Child shoebox last year, you were an international missionary to any one of those 17 countries, and you didn't even have to leave home. Powerful. Are you starting to look at shoeboxes a little differently? <clears throat> In Wilmington, the area totals that we collected, and the Wilmington area comprises of six um, counties. In 2014, we collected 34,094 shoeboxes. That's not just 34,094 shoeboxes. That's 34,094 children and their families and neighbors and friends that we reached. Every single shoebox is, represents a child. Remember that. What's the most important thing to include in your shoebox? Guesses? That's, that's some, that is something, but I'm looking for something that you can't see. Close? Oh, that's a good one. I like that. That is true, but I'm looking for something else. I'm looking for prayer. Everyone that came in should have received one of these um, uh, bookmarks. And on the back side, it's actually a daily prayer for a different aspect of Operation Christmas Child. I invite you to get those out, please. And I'd like to read today's prayer, if we could. And I'm going to try to do this without my glasses. Everyone have it out? For Sunday, we're going to thank the Lord for working through Samaritan's Purse to distribute more than 124 million Operation Christmas Child shoebox gifts since 1993. Pray that millions more children will experience God's love and hear the good news of Jesus Christ as they receive these simple gifts. I ask you, I invite you to um, check this into your Bible, into your daily devotions, and please pray for Operation Christmas Child. And more specifically, pray for the child who's going to be receiving your shoebox gift. Our awesome God already knows the child that's going to be receiving your shoebox gift. And let's just aid his good works in praying for that child to open up their hearts and their minds to hearing about the good news when they receive their shoebox gift. So how does the shoebox gift become a gospel opportunity or a go box? A little, real quick, what goes beyond the box, and this is another half an hour talk, but in, in just a short time, um, when they receive their shoebox gift, they receive their box, and they also receive with their box this booklet 
It's called The Greatest Gift of All. This booklet is 32 pages. It's the gospel in 32 pages, basically. It's beautifully illustrated. It's brand new. Most of these kids do not have a brand new book or any books. They get to take this home. And guess what? Who else is reading it? Parents, siblings. Then, beyond the box, one more step, all the children that receive a shoebox gift are invited to a 12-week discipleship program. 12-week discipleship program. I should be hearing a lot of woohoos and amens to that. Isn't that amazing? Did you know this about the Operation Christmas Child? This is huge. When they complete this 12-week discipleship program, they have a graduation ceremony. This is big in these undeveloped countries. And they receive a New Testament in their native language. All these materials are in their native language. And they get to take this home and share the good news. These shoebox gift recipients that go through the greatest journey become little disciples. In, in Jesus' closing words in Matthew, what did he say? Go and make disciples of all the nations. By packing a shoebox for Operation Christmas Child, you are fulfilling that great commission that we're all called to. I hope I inspired someone to pack one more shoebox. Question? That's a great question. I can answer more questions afterwards, but I'll answer that one. Um, it's a big process, and churches in all these other countries, they actually go through an application process with Samaritan's Purse. And there's uh, volunteers on that on, in every single country, and they, they teach them how to teach the greatest journey and so on. But it's an application process because they want to make sure that they're going to follow through with all the boxes. It's mm-hmm. a great question. So these shoeboxes become incredible tools um, for, to resource um, these poor churches in undeveloped parts of the world and um, further his kingdom. Um, they plant churches. They do incredible things. Um, Honduras boy, uh, a few years ago, Samaritan's Purse um, extended an invitation for me to go to Honduras and pass out shoeboxes. This is um, a Honduran boy. I don't even know his name. I don't know how old he was. I don't know the dynamics of everyone that's in the picture. Would I snap this picture? Um, Right after a shoebox distribution. And what he did was absolutely spurred by our awesome God because God knew it was going to touch my heart the way it has. And this, this happened several years ago, and you can see how emotional I still get over my Honduran boy, and that's all I can talk to him. I say, I, I don't know his name. I, but what he did right after I snapped this picture, um, and they're very timid. They're very, very timid um, when you go to other countries. They're very timid with Americans or any foreigners. And, um, but he, he walked right up to me. He left the comfort of his family. He walked right up to me, right up to me. Still smiling, that gorgeous smile, looking directly in my eyes. Shoebox is still up on his head. And with his free hand, he waved, and he said, God bless you in English. I have no idea how he knew that. I couldn't even ask him any questions. <laughs> I just, I was just so moved, and um, they were yelling for me to get back on the bus. <laughs> so I got back on the bus, and, um, but he, he was amazing. And I just ask you, as you're packing your shoeboxes, even if you've already packed your shoeboxes, pray over your shoeboxes, um, and just imagine the child that's going to be getting your shoeboxes walking up to you, with that beautiful smile, looking directly in your eyes, shoeboxes still on their head, waving and saying, God bless you. Because trust me, they would if they could. They would if they could. Closing key points. Um, what goes into a shoebox is fun, but what comes out is eternal. That's um, Operation Christmas Child latest motto, and I just love it, and I married it with this great picture. Each and every shoebox, Operation Christmas Child shoebox gifts, is a missionary tool that opens the door for the gospel. In one shoebox, 
equals one child, equals one life, and equals one salvation. I hope I inspired you about Operation Christmas Child. If you've already packed your shoeboxes, maybe pack one more. If you haven't um, already packed them and you're thinking of a number, up it by one more because it's one more child. Thank you so much.